So welcome. Uh, I'm Joe Karaganis. I'm at the American Assembly at Columbia. This is Dennis Tennant in the English Department. Uh, we've been um, a couple of the principals on the project in this, uh, what we hope is its early days. Uh, this is a very exciting moment for us, one in which all the conversations we've been having over the last year or so, uh, in some cases longer, with many of you can finally come, to the, come together with the infrastructure we've been building to try and support those conversations. So it's you know, been our goal to create a kind of uh, super friends of people who've had an interest <laughs> in what you can do with syllabi. And that goes back a long ways. We're hardly the first people to think about syllabi as you know, rich, unexploited um, you know, resources that can tell us a lot, not just about teaching, but about the evolution of fields, about uh, administrative practices about uh, you know, they can lead in the direction of new kinds of publication metrics. Uh, the Ancestor project, from our perspective, I think has always been Dan Cohen's Million Syllabus project, and we have, uh, to some extent, picked up that work and remined all of those links and all of the syllabi that Dan thought he had back in the day are now, uh, to the extent that they're findable, we've found them and have, have integrated them into the database. So uh, I'll say a bit about the agenda, but first, since I don't know that we have any other explicit moment to, to talk about it, I just wanted to make sure that everybody kind of knew what the project is and uh, you know, potentially where they can fit it, where they can connect with it. So this is you know, a very simplified map of what I think of as not really uh, you know, components, but the different levels at which, we're, the, 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 levels at which the work is, is being conducted. So at, at the top, it's really a question about how you collect syllabi, where they come from, what kinds of social and legal arrangements you need in order to uh, get a hold of them once and then get a hold of them again in the future as we try and build a resource that can self-sustain and, and grow. The database, you'll hear more about it. It's a document database. The API, you'll hear more about it. we finally have and can expose and uh, give out so that people can begin to think about what kinds of tools they can build with uh, the data that the API exposes, beginning with the full text of the, the syllabi. But those are the applications are really where I think our diverse range of agendas can uh, be supported on what we hope will be a common platform. So I, my, my interest in, in syllabi going back have had a lot to do with alternative publication metrics, with uh, begin, beginning to develop empirical accounts of what fields are, as opposed to what people think they are, or what they argue about, or what they think they should be, uh, on the assumption that a field is, first and foremost, the knowledge that it chooses to reproduce. And syllabi are the best guide to that. Uh, institutional comparisons become possible in ways that are just impossible now. Curricular discovery for students, for faculty, for administrators, all, you know, there are lots of things, lots of directions in which this could go. Uh, and now is really the time when we can begin to test some of those propositions and to see how many of your agendas can be facilitated by some of the infrastructure work we've been doing. And then on the user side, again, it's kind of an, uh, uh, an open field, uh, obvious teaching applications, research applications around uh, 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 curricular history, canon, canon formation, field formation, uh, student discovery of course materials, especially as the sort of unified semester-long course begins to be broken up in different ways. Uh, administrative tools for things like discovery of adjacencies in teaching. So if you're wondering who's teaching courses, I, mean, I, I come out of a uh, you know, decade of conversations about what uh, communications and media studies is. And you know, every field has produced its own version of its own answer to that. <laughs> and they all overlap. So if you're, if you're asking who's, who's teaching work on an internet policy in a given semester, uh, there may be all sorts of parallel activity that the fact, the fact that the faculty is ill-equipped to understand or even identify. So there are lots of things like that that we think uh, we think the op this open syllabus project can support. Um, and now is really the you know we, we'll we'll have a lot of conversations about the these different levels and the challenges that are present at each of them. But we're also hoping to kind of to use the day and tomorrow to forge a community that can begin to work together more closely than we've been able to do in the last year. So those are you know, the primary goals of the project. 
Um, day one is mostly just about those different levels and their respective challenges. Uh, you know, the really, uh, we hope that this will be a primarily discussion-focused day. So everybody that is slated to present should really think of their, their presentations as brief introductions to the way they've encountered some version of these issues. <laughs> and as incitations to conversation. So we want this to be very back and forth, and you know, uh, there's, it's not presenters and audience. It really, hopefully, will become a much more fluid conversation. Uh, Dennis and I will provide some light moderation as needed. If, if people are running over time, we'll brutally enforce. <laughs> um, but you know, the conversation's really designed to uh, explore your needs and your projects as well as ours and see where the intersections are. So that's, that's the, the way we hope this will go. Um, the hackathon tomorrow is in a different place. Just now that you've found this place, you can forget it. <laughs> You'll never, never find it again. It's in the Butler Library, which is a little bit more easily found. It's, a, it's the, the main library on the quad. Um, and uh, there will be you know, a range of technical things going on during the day, but also a range of non-technical ones related to some of the policy issues around uh, the Document project. Documentation. Documentation of the project. Uh, we, we, we have a variety of things that um, will benefit from uh, not just technical expertise, but other kinds of experience with uh, and around these, these types of projects. So please come, um, even if you don't anticipate bringing a lot of coding skills to the table. So, uh, <laughs> just nuts and bolts of the project, uh, reimbursements, keep receipts, uh, Mark Leneker will be the contact person for following up, his email is in the agenda and uh, I'll ask him to follow up proactively with each of you because there's a fair amount of uh, bureaucracy attached to doing anything at Columbia, including getting reimbursed for meals and taxis and whatnot. So that's um, a somewhat overcomplicated but necessary part of the process, and, uh, and Mark will be the, the main contact person. Uh, I do want to introduce Carla Garcia, if she's here. Carla? She's getting coffee. Uh, okay. Uh, Carla is the other person you may be talking to as far as sort of the organizational back end of the, of the conference. And um, Sarah Monks is the Heyman staff coordinator, in case there are other sort of Heyman related things today. I'm gonna, I, I, I Here's Carla. <laughs> Carla Garcia oh, from, from the American oh, Assembly. Thank you. Um, Christine Liu has been the coordinator for the project over the last year oh, and uh, organizer of this event. Has done terrific work and. Uh, uh, I'm going to be taking pictures. Oh, if anyone is opposed to getting their pictures taken, please tell me because I will be taking pictures and posting them. Pictures and recording. We are filming yes. the event. <laughs> not, it's not, not live streaming, but it is designed to be a, a record in case uh, the project falls apart tomorrow. Mm -hmm. okay. There will be some record of how we got to at least this far. So that the next, you know, OSP two in ten years can pick up where we left off. Today. Also, if anyone is on Twitter, um, please tweet with the hashtag #OSPCon. That is our F at the end. Conf. Oh, okay. Conf. <laughs> we didn't want to be a Can con, you know. Add that to the hashtag. <laughs> yeah. Add it. Um, but yeah, so please tweet. I, I will start that up. So we're five time. minutes into the program. We already have hashtag. Yeah, we have uh, <laughs> competing competing standards. <laughs> okay, so uh, it did occur to me that we should have a scratch pad, maybe a Google Doc or something, so that okay. if people want to share links, resources, um, other kinds of comments, that leave it open and send the link around, maybe. Yes, I will do that. Uh, any other logistical issues that we should be aware of at this stage? Okay, well, with that, I will, uh, sorry, I mean, the, the, the first session is really, uh, I, I don't know, do you want to say a bit at, at the technical I level, think, or is that an adequate no, description I for think, now? I think I'm going to just speak at the next session, you know, Okay. say my piece then. 
Well, with that, we have a session that's sort of a um, opening discussion of the different reasons people are interested in these in these, doc these documents and the, the kinds of projects that have been underway in some cases longer than ours uh, to try and pull them together and, and, and make syllabi useful for some of the purposes that we've been discussing.